Oh, what is up, YouTube? Trevor Ross Kavitsky here. I hope you're having a good day so far. In today's video, we are going to pick up a pair of Jordan 4 Red Thunders. Not one. We're going to be going to three or four stores today, so we got a lot of traveling to do. You're going to see inside of, like, we got Dick's Sporting Goods. I actually had Champs pick up for GS pairs for once. This is the first time I had Champs pick up in so long. I got to go to Lafayette Square Mall. If you're in Indiana, you know Lafayette Square, how it goes. But we're going to, literally, we're going to Castleton, Downtown Mall, and Lafayette Square. So we're going to be spending some gas money today. We're going to pick up these pairs, get them shipped out but the today's live stream was crazy i just want to say thank you all for the support this morning it was fun congrats if you hit let me know down in the comment section right now if you hit are you wearing pairs or are you just selling all of them i want to know let me know but let's go ahead and do a fit check real quick and then we're gonna go out to the malls so nothing crazy plain black tee he's got a necklace on we got a young la jacket shout out to young la coolest brand ever um then we have some black pants and then we had to break out the unc fours because we are picking up some or we are picking up fours so let's go ahead let's go grab these pairs we got a lot of driving to do all right guys first place we have arrived dick sporting goods if you can't see my window is dirty i can't lie it's freezing outside i stepped outside i didn't realize it was this cold i know it was out earlier but man it's cold we're gonna walk in here kind of show you around hopefully it's gonna be an easy checkout we do have to get in here because dick sporting goods like like let's go of the leftover pairs or let's go of your reservations at like 11 30. so let's go grab this pair and see what they look like finally all right guys first pair secured we got the box here we haven't even looked at the shoe yet so we're gonna do an honest opinion the first time i've actually seen them i've heard mixed opinions on them i don't know what we're looking at and i have to say it's better than i expected here they are I'm looking for glue stains and the material on them. I mean, glue stains are to a minimal on this pair. I've heard quality control was all over the place, but we're not gonna do a full review until we get back. But from the first look, I like this sneaker. I wish I would've hit a size 10. I didn't even hit a single size 10 all day. So my size isn't in, but I may be able to find some on leftover days. And now we're at a second location. We had to get bubble wrap and stuff, but we're at Lafayette Square Mall. And if you can see back there, if you guys are familiar with the area, you know where I'm at. I'm gonna go in here, Champs. I have never hit at this Champs ever. I'll, any of my FLX accounts, I've never hit at this champs so i'm shocked so we're gonna go grab these pairs see how it is hopefully there's no one in here dick sporting goods was nice and easy like i said i doubt there's gonna be that many people because i am i am late it's like already 12 o'clock so shouldn't have to have a wait online or anything for reservations let's go check it out let's go see how this mall looks i haven't been here in a few months and second pair secured we got the 6.5 gs from champs feels good to actually hit in person not to wait for ship to me because sometimes they are super slow with everything they do on it but this mall hasn't changed. Let me know if you have ever been to Lafayette Square Mall. I know there's a lot of locals that come here, but nothing's changed. It's looking just about normal. I think a couple more stores have gone out. I'm curious to see how long this mall actually lasts, but next door, downtown. Final pairs secured, guys. Two more pairs. We had that 12 and seven. It was so packed in the mall, I didn't record. There was like, some, it had to be like a cheer convention or dance convention or something going on. Like you couldn't even walk in Circle Center Mall. And if you know, if you're from the area, you know Circle Center usually isn't that packed. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna record. I got a picture in there at least, but I was like, I'm not gonna record. I'm gonna get in here and out of here because too many people for me and I dipped out. And now we're gonna go home and we're gonna actually review this sneaker and get pairs shipped out. And we are back home, guys. Here are the sizes we did manage to get. We got the six, six and a half youth, seven youth, 11 and 12. We have another seven and a size 13 coming in from Ship to Me from JD Sports. So today was pretty good. Six pairs, like I said. Wish I could have got more, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and review this sneaker. All right, guys. So we did just now make it back. We went to three different malls, Lafayette Square, went to Castleton and Circle Center. Circle Center had some big event going on, so it was wild. But we did manage to get the sneakers. As you can see, here are the Red Thunder Jordan 4. Um, I have to say, this is the GS sizes, so this is a size, let me see here, I grabbed the 7 youth right here, I did sell to Potty, uh, there you go Potty, these are coming out to here soon, so there's a 7, and now this is a size 11 in the men, now the reason why I always bring out both pairs is usually build quality is a little bit different when it comes to a men's pair and a GS pair. Now there's nothing special about the box before we get too far into the shoe. There's literally just the normal Jordan 5 or Jordan 4 box. This has Air Jordan 4 Retro on the side. If you want to see if yours look like that, it's a size 11. As you can see, if it'll focus. Um, 190 retail. They came out to 203 bucks a piece for me, and it's got no, there's no special wrapping, nothing like that. The box is just plain and simple, as you can see on the inside. And there's all your sneakers going on. So that's what the box is actually looking like on this sneaker. Starting off with the men's pair, I know I, I had so many people say, yo, there's glue stains all over them, the quality control is terrible, this and that, and thankfully from the pairs that I have checked, all mine, I don't really have glue stains, I mean, there's a, there's a little thing here, like little scuff, not really a lot of scuffs, 
but just like little things. You know how it is with this type of leather or this type of material, not leather. Uh, this type of material, it is easy to scrape up, but the glue stains are to a minimal for the most part. I've seen worse. Now, there are little things around the shoe, but it's just a typical Jordan release. Now, a lot of people were saying, man, the quality is close to the Jordan 4 UNC. Um, I agree on the toe box, but around the, the actual toe itself, not really. But yes, I agree the material is kind of similar, but it's a whole different shoe. It's a hard shoe to compare, UNC and the Red Thunders. Um, starting off, one thing I do like about the shoe is it's, I mean, you can wear this with a lot. Red, it, it is a lot. There's a lot of red on it. What I was worried about the red was it was going to be too bright. Now, a lot of people were telling me it was like a Starburst color in person. It does look really bright in this lighting, but I don't think it's really that bad. Personally, I could probably see myself wearing a pair, and I actually took an L on all size 10s. I didn't even get a size 10, so I have none for myself right now, which, I mean, I guess that's a good excuse to not keep it personal, but... I like the shoe. I like the shoe more now that I got it in person. You guys do know I was iffy about the shoe because I haven't seen it yet and something was throwing me off on online. I think it was just the red colorway that was throwing me off. Now it is pretty bright. I wish it was just a little bit darker if you want me to be honest with you, but the hype seems to be there. One of my favorite things that they did choose to do was just put the Jumpman on the back. Jumpman, a white Jumpman, it really made it pop in my opinion. Um, let me know what kind of laces you would actually leave. I would probably leave the black laces, but I'm curious if you guys are relacing these. What are you going to lace them with? Now, for, for me, like I said, I would keep the black laces in. It just makes the shoe flow. And like I said, the more I look at it, the more I do like it. I don't know if the hype's getting to me or what it is. I just love Jordan 4s in general, but I did not get any in my size. Now, there's nothing really special about this shoe, if you want to be honest. Both pairs are, are the same. There's no little hidden things. They're both about identical, which is fine. It can be nice and simple. I do like how it has the Jumpman in there in white as well, just like the just like the heel tab. But there's nothing special about this shoe. I mean, it's nice. I like the colorway. I think they're gonna go up in value, yes. But is it anything really, really special? No, it's just a general, it's a GR. You guys know, a lot of you guys hit. It's a GR Jordan 4. Um, it, it doesn't really amount out. I mean, I like it. Do I think it's as good as maybe the Topaz? Not really. Good as the UNC? Not really. Now, do I think it's better than Lightnings? Yes, I think this sneaker is better than Lightnings. I like the quality. I like the colorway way more than the Lightnings that we released. The, the Lightnings were a weird yellow. And this one, it just looks a lot better. And this would flow with so much more. I Like, literally, I would rock it right now with my all-black outfit. And I would just, I would love this to rock just because they pop and I'm sure you'd get I'm sure you get noticed for these um, I'm sure people would mention something about these being on your foot so let's talk about a little something more than just this let's talk about market a lot of you guys are talking about the market and let's go ahead and jump into aftermarket and look at prices right now on StockX and what I think is going to happen to this sneaker so as you guys can see prices overall are about 315 to 320 for the men's sizes now some of your biggest sizers bigger sizes do are doing better so like 11s are almost at 400 11 and a half is 340 or so but the bigger sizes which I told you guys to focus on don't worry about they are gonna dip price is gonna be very high today if you have them sell them now get the FOMO buyers to buy get them to buy before these dip everybody's gonna be getting their pairs in this next week and the prices are gonna plummet men's pairs I can see going down to 280 260 I can't lie there's tons of them so our men's pairs will probably be down to 280 or 260 and then you switch over to GS and we're at like 240 right now 240 for the bigger size like if you got the big size they're doing very very well I sold both these at each for uh, I think I did, I did like 425 for both pairs of my GS so that's pretty good now GS was limited GS was limited I didn't see that many people hit them and I and that's why I'm seeing the prices stay right here I think they may go down to 200 bucks in some sizes but not for long um, I didn't see a lot of people hit GS so GS is a cook if you did get a pair now I I never hold pairs but I have a GS GS coming in for ship to me so I'm actually gonna hold on to a GS and see what they're gonna do because they were only 140 bucks after tax I think it was like 149 to my door so I am gonna hold on to a GS pair for a little while but if I were you and you don't have a lot of capital now if you want to hold a long-term hold will be fine I can see these perform like every other Jordan 4 we've seen Oreos go crazy we've seen lightnings go crazy or not lightnings go crazy but they're finally above $300 in some of the bigger sizes um UNC's all Jordan 4s that really dropped last year are doing amazing right now. So if you can if you can like hold for six months, these are gonna be at three fifty four hundred dollar shoe for sure. The colorway is good. People are gonna want them. They're wearable. So I could definitely see the I could definitely see maybe three fifty four hundred, maybe even a little bit higher in some sizes. So keep that in mind when it comes to the sneaker. Um, if you can hold for six months, go for it. But for me, you know what I do? I quick flip, quick flip, quick flip, and that's how I get it done with the market. And that's how I expect the market to perform. Let me know down in the comment section how do you think the market's gonna actually perform on this sneaker? So guys, that is is it for the video nice short and sweet and simple i hope you guys did like the pickup vlog i just want to say thank you all for being around um you guys have been showing support in the 
live streams. It's been amazing. Follow all my social medias down below. My Instagram is right here. If you want to kick notify, there may not be any spots left, but there we go. We can we can have a couple more. Open up a couple more if you need it. Blue tints are coming up, so if you need help with that, we got you there. And if you want to join the cha channel memberships to show support to me, thank you. You don't have to, but if you want to, hit that little join button down below. But that is it for me. I hope you guys had a great day. I hope you guys killed this freaking drop. Six pairs for me. I was hoping for seven or eight to up myself on the patents, but it is what it is. But I'm out of here, guys. Peace.